so your p and l we have covered next starting from k they made it in an organized form that is instead of your nest they had cards okay so when cards came you could uh, like starting from kfcs they could have 10 nodes okay 10 nodes in the sense one mother followed by nine children and instead of that big bulky five nests that you used to have you could have a yoke cards now each of them it could contain like you know uh, eight eight cards could be possible in each of them so 10 into 8 is like around 80 io cards are possible but one thing that we need to notice is that in your kfcs okay within your kfcs the mother unit see in pfcs and lfcs the mother unit did the process of processing power supply and it also had io cards but in your kfcs there were no uh, IO cards present in the mother unit. You had one mother followed by eight nodes. Ten nodes, sorry, not eight nodes, it's ten nodes. So within these ten nodes, you could have eight IO cards. Fine. So that's how it's ten into eight is eighty. Fine. Now starting from your FFCS. FFCS, the mother also did uh, IO handling. That is, uh, it had one mother unit which contained around six IO cards and followed by three um, uh, child units which had eight io cards okay the other uh, why mother is having only six is because the two slots that it could have occupied is taken by the processor right processor is not required in the children that's why all the children have eight and mother has got just six and ffc is you have to note that it has got just three nodes that is yeah three children and in your ffc is large you have 13 nodes and one mother unit so one mother unit again contains six nodes and other 13 contain eight nodes fine so it is six plus uh, eight into 13 which is 110 cards in ffc is large All right fine now there is a concept of local node and remote node all right so um why do we need a local node uh, i mean why do we need a remote node okay uh, see sometimes what happens is there are uh, locations where you cannot access all right um, uh, like for example um, um, places that you cannot reach okay so that those places your node is placed remotely okay and you have a different sort of cabling between your uh, uh, your child node and the other child see it, it could be any way it could be your mother unit followed by your remote node itself or it could be your mother unit followed by your um, child unit which is placed locally and from the child unit there could be a connection to a uh, remote node it could be any way Okay, there are scenarios where there is just one mother unit and one remote node. So in that case, you have one mother unit and one remote node. Fine. So remote node is placed in like, you know, a corrosive environment or something. Wherein this, this particular box alone is placed in that remote area. Fine. So, uh, or high temperature or any sort of thing. So it is a specialty. This IO unit is specialized for rem uh, remote IO handling capabilities. There are scenarios. Okay, you might uh, see it in your project and things like that. But uh, if you ask me, uh, I cannot say right now. So uh, we'll just have a uh, you know look once again into the architecture. Here, there is a PFCS. KFCS in uh, LFCS followed by K FFCS and FFCS large okay in PFCS you have your power supply your processor followed by one two and three okay so five nests that's it that is your PFCS push aside now in your LFCS you have the same box only thing is that box can be multiplied into another 10 units into another eight units sorry <clears throat> so in your lfcs you have one mother followed by seven 
so uh, that is around 8 into 5 nests so uh, you have uh, one mother followed by seven nodes and 40 io nests okay that is what lfcs is so in your lfcs you had both the nest concept and the node concept after lfcs came the kfcs which was the compact model where mother was standalone nothing was there okay but it had 10 nodes okay each of these 10 nodes could hold eight io cards instead of that square thing you had a card that could be plugged in and pulled out okay so it was 10 into 8 80 uh, io cards that you had in uh, ffcs you had your mother which is also participating in the io handling so mother had you know six io cards within it and the rest of the th three children could have eight io cards uh, so it is 8 into 3 24 plus 6 30 io cards in ffcs fine in ffcs large uh, what happens is there are uh, uh, there is uh, one mother unit and 13 children so which is like around 1 into 6 I mean 1 uh, 1 into 6 plus uh, 8 into 13 which is 110